If individual muscle weakness isn't the issue, then what is? So let me introduce you to your deep front line. Now most people are going to talk about the core muscles of their body and they're usually talking about this one here, which is your transverse abdominis. But the deep front line is the core of your entire body, from your toes all the way up to your head. And it actually includes that core muscle as well, the transverse abdominis that they like to talk about in Pilates. I've just removed it and it's not part of these sketches so that you can see the muscles underneath. You can see it included here in the side on image. Now, the important thing to think about when you're talking about the DFL is that you're not talking about one individual muscle like the transverse abdominis. You're talking about an entire web that's connected fascially to, or to each other. So when you engage one part of that web, when your foot hits the ground and your arch engages, and so these deep toe flexor muscles here, when they start to engage, what you have then is you have the beginning of the DFL activating. So these deep toe flexor muscles, they're gonna engage, and as they engage, they're gonna send that contraction up towards the adductor muscles through here. And so what's gonna happen is you've essentially got the whole chain being engaged at the same time. And it's because it's a web. When you pull on one part of this fascia here, the entire fascial chain is connected. So if you pull on this part of the fascia, you're pulling on this part, you're pulling on this part, you're engaging and connecting the entire body. And that's what the DFL is designed to do. It's designed to functionally move your entire body so that when you put load into your arch as your foot hits the ground, that load can be sent straight up into the adductor, straight through to the hip flexors, straight through to the core, straight through to the thoracic cage, and straight through to your head, and then back down again. It's an integrated web that dissipates load evenly across your entire body. And the issue that you can have with OP is that your adductors get disconnected from this chain so that they're the only thing that's supporting you and stabilizing you because your core has collapsed and stopped working, because your arches have collapsed and stopped working. And this ends up being the only functional muscle left in your deep front line. So it can't dissipate load evenly up and down, it just gets stuck in this one area, and of course it gets overworked, it gets tired and it breaks down. Hey there. That video was probably really complicated. OP is really complicated. So why don't you let me explain it to you in person? Book in for a free 20 minute Skype consult. I can assess you, tell you what OP is, you can ask me as many questions as you like. We can go into detail about the Skype process and how it works, and we can start working on the things that you need to do to fix your OP and get back to your life. So please, book in for a free session, it's completely obligation free, and let's get started.